Hey, what's going on guys? It's FJM Gaming or Fazu, and welcome back to another manga chapter review for Naruto Gaiden. Now, this time is going to be a review for chapter 5 titled The Future. Anyway, let's get started. This chapter continued off where it left off last week, of course, with Sasuke meeting Sarada, of course, after all these years, and he did not recognize her. So, at the start of this chapter, he swings his sword out of, in Sarada's direction and nearly stabs her. Of course, he dodges. Because that would be pretty awkward if he does stab her and then he realizes that it's, her, it's his daughter. So that would have been pretty awkward. So good thing that he missed. So then he, he goes to grab her and she's like... Then he realizes that that's his daughter. Of course we can understand Sasuke not seeing Sarada for so long. And having no pictures, no memory of her whatsoever. Just a baby and of course, you know, the body develops etc. And he won't recognize her at all. So eventually he recognizes her, which is great. So stop hating on Sasuke please. Of course, he's my favorite. Sarada seems annoyed that he did not recognize her straight away because she recognized him straight away but that's mainly because she had a picture of him and stuff like that that she could see every day. However, he did not have anything like that. So there's also that backing up Sasuke. But of course Sasuke should have still remembered that this is his child and should have not mistaken Sarada for an enemy like Shin. Of course things didn't pan out the way Sarada expected. Sarada ex was expecting like some kind of reunion just a big hug and stuff, but she didn't get any of that. Instead, she gets a sword in her direction, a slash, and near miss, nearly got her. Now, of course, Naruto catches up, realizing Sarada has been gone for a while, because that's one long piss. So, he comes in, and the Sasuke, I didn't like that Sasuke said this. He's like, what is all this? I mean, come on, like, aren't you happy to see Sarada? That's, that's your first reaction to Naruto who brought them over? It's just, what is all of this? But I guess there are like more important things such as, you know, death to the world or something going on. I don't know what's happening. We'll find out later in the chapter. Don't want to spoil it right away. We'll tease yourself into it. So it's asking, why did you bring the children here? And yeah, like I said, I, I would have preferred it if, you know, he was happy to see Sarada. He's not, like, we all understand Sasuke. He's not going to be happy over things, anything. He's never happy, okay? He's emo. It's just the way it is. He's even got that emo cut now. Mainly to cover the uh, Renegade, but yeah. He's got that now, going for him. Sarada explains that she tagged along, she wasn't meant to, and she just followed. It's not Naruto's fault, so... Because Sasuke is assuming that it was Naruto's fault, but it wasn't, so it's Sarada's fault. And Sarada asks him the big question. Is Sakura really her mom? Now, there's a lot of debate going on whether what she... What she intended to ask Sasuke. Some people thought that she was going to ask Sasuke if he was married to Sakura. Some people... Were, like myself, were thinking that she was going to ask this question, so we won the debate, of course. So here we go. She asked whether Sakura is really her mom. Now, of course, Sakura's reaction to hearing Shizune's side of the story of, you know, Sarada leaving and going towards Sasuke, Sakura's reaction verifies that Sakura is Sarada's mother. There's no mistaking it. Like, what kind of other reaction have that, that child of mine? Good grief. That, that's a motherly reaction right there, okay? So, none of that cat and bullshit. Sakura is the mother. Now Sasuke assumes that something happened at the village because it's kind of a peculiar question to ask right away. So he's been he's just a bit confused. And then Sarada flips out and goes, Why haven't you been with her? Why aren't you around? You haven't been all so now you care? And then she just like, you know, exhausts herself from these questions. And then she admits that she can't trust anyone anymore. And Naruto, of course, is looking at her with that, oh no, she don't messed up face. He's like, no 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 no, stop it, Sarada, stop it. This cat stop showing that picture. It's not Karen. And then she asks Sasuke what he's been doing all this time now. Sasuke actually couldn't answer that question. So instead he answers, it has nothing to do with you, which is a bit harsh to be honest. Sarada again gets upset, stops crying, leaves. And then, yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Then Naruto has a flashback to why Sasuke had to say that. Because back then, Sasuke did some research and he discovered that there was something more powerful than Kaguya lurking in the world. So he wanted to find out what it was, that's why he's on his mission. So his mission is to find out what's going on, what is this Kaguya power he can sense, which is most likely the Jubi's power or some kind of Utsutsuki clan power or we don't know, it's, it's definitely that guy with the Sharingan and the mini Jubi spy cam. Something to do with that. So of course Sasuke wants to keep his mission private because he, he doesn't actually know if this is true, he just wants to go out and see. Of course, his mission lasted a very long time, like nearly uh, about 8, 10 years, 12, something like that. He's been traveling for that long. That's a very long time. I don't know how he made it that long. Well, of course, it's Sasuke. He can make it that long, but still, still a really long time. 
so they don't want to freak out the villagers so they say keep it between themselves just them and Sasuke etc they don't want anyone to flip out so they keep it to themselves and Sasuke goes on his mission to find out what this Kaguya power is and Naruto goes out to comfort Sarada because he understands that Sasuke can't really tell her anything at the moment to do what's happening he doesn't want to get her involved probably because Sasuke cares about her so there's also that going on for Sasuke some more backup for him Naruto mentions that Sasuke is an admirable ninja and she shouldn't you know she should give him the benefit of the doubt now Sakura is on her way now I, I like that Sakura is on her way because it's gonna be a little more backup to what's happening next now this masked villain he's finally revealed after five chapters Kishimoto has revealed it. Now, I, I don't like the speed at which this Ninja Gaiden series is going at. It's going pretty fast. At, at this rate, I think it will only be 10 chapters. So, I'll talk more about this at the end. Anyway, the guy reveals himself and, as I predicted, Shin is a clone. There is more than one of him. There's many of them. They all have Sharingan. They all have Mangyo Sharingan. They're all trained. And this guy is out to recreate or re resurrect the Akatsuki. Now, this is a bit strange. Like... We all know that the Akatsuki was founded on the basis of uh, Tobi, Obito, of course, Madara, and the Nagato. So, how does this guy get involved with the Akatsuki? What does he want to do with the Akatsuki? When did he join? When? Why is it of interest to him to resurrect the Akatsuki? Like, how's he going to resurrect it as well? Is he going to bring back Hidan? I would like that if they found Hidan. And if he found Hidan, because Hidan's still alive after all this time. He could bring him out of the ground and... Who knows? Maybe this is Hidan. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. Anyway, this guy has a lot of Sharingans. He's got the Izanagi. He's got freaking eye massive eyeballs in his head. He's got a tracking right eye Sharingan to use with the mini Juby spy cam. It's so weird. This guy looks like a meth junkie. I don't even know how to describe him. It's such a messed up face, to be honest. I can see why he wants to kill everything now. <laughs> and he wants all the other Chihas. So he can be the best looking semi Uchiha. I don't know what he is. We don't even know if he is Uchiha. So then he teleports over to Naruto and Sasuke's location. Naruto senses him and realizes that there's an attack going on. Of course, protect Sarada. And then this is when the clash happens. It's a bit of a small battle. Mangiko Sharingan's come out and everything. And Sasuke meets this guy that he was apparently tracking down. Maybe it's this guy. We don't know. Anyway, like I was saying earlier, the speed at which this manga is going at is extremely fast. So at this rate, I actually think that it will end at chapter 10 but I hope not, I'm hoping it goes up to 80 chapters because Kishimoto mentioned that he will stop Naruto completely next summer and that should give us at least 50 chapters, 60 chapters, something like that, I don't know anyway, that's a lot of chapters, I, I would still be happy with about 60, 70, 80, something around there but it's not guaranteed because Sarada is having a flip at I don't like that, but of course she has to because she just met her dad and he's like not even caring about anything. But we have to give Sasuke the benefit of the doubt. He can't care at the moment. He's got bigger things to worry about. He's like this guy that just showed up. He's a freaking maniac. I mean, come on. He looks like a meth junkie or something, but where has he been all this time? He's been hidden. He's not linked at all to the, to the Naruto series, so we don't know anything about him. It's possible that all the Sharingans were stolen. It's possible that he may have been in Uchiha. He looks more like some guy who experimented on himself, created himself, created the, the clones and everything. However, Sasuke mentioned earlier that the white Zetsu were being made earlier than before, earlier than Obito. So that means those Shin may be advanced white Zetsu. Because we know that white Zetsu is made of Hashirama cells. Maybe this is a different version of them. We don't know. It could be because they've got Mangekyo instantly. They've all got everything unlocked. They're really powerful. And this guy just seems badass as hell. Anyway, that's it for me guys. Thank you guys for watching my manga review. Peace out.